Welcome to Super Genius Teaching, where we enjoy making math look easy. Welcome back. Today's lesson comes to us from my four-year-old nephew, who I went over to see him a couple of weeks ago, wanted to show me how he could count. He started with one, and then two, and then three, and he just kept going. He counted all the way to 120, which I thought was pretty good for a four-year-old. And then his dad goes, hey, why don't you show him how you can skip count? And he proceeded to go two, and then four, and then six, and he kept going with that too. I'm not sure if he knew what he was doing. I think he was just counting all the even ones. I'm not sure he realized that when he counted, skip counting, that he was skipping the one and counting the two, skipping the three and counting the four, skipping the five and counting the six. But he did a really good job of it. And it made me start to wonder. Back when I was a kid, we used to count by ones, and then we'd count by twos. We'd skip count fives when we were playing hide-and-go-seek, and we'd even skip count tens. But what we didn't do is we didn't do a whole lot of skip counting when it came to threes. Now, I was wondering if my nephew was doing that, too, or if, my, uh, or if his dad was going to have him learn how to skip count by threes. Because it's kind of the same thing, only instead of just skipping one and going to the second number, you skip two and go to the third number, and skip two more and go to the third number and so on and so forth. That's why when you skip count by threes, you get three, then six, then nine, then 12, then 15. And if you just wanted to keep doing this, you could skip count by fours. Again, skip three numbers, go to the fourth number. Skip three numbers, go to the fourth number. And you get the numbers four, eight, and 12. Okay. And so when you're skip counting, you notice that when you're counting by ones, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We got our twos, we got our threes, we got our fours, and we got our fives. And you could keep doing this. You could skip count by sixes and sevens and eights and nines. I don't ever remember doing that. So why am I bringing it up? Well, it made me just kind of wonder what do all these skip countings look like if we line them up right over the top of each other? Well, I color-coded them so that you could hopefully get an idea, but think about it, parents. What does this look like? Okay, when you skip count the different numbers. Well, have you figured it out? Because what you end up getting is a multiplication chart. A multiplication chart is simply all the different skip countings. And if you want your kids to be good at their multiplication facts when they hit third grade and fourth grade, you could trick them a little bit by giving them a skip counting sheet and let them practice their skip counting when they're in kindergarten, first, and second grade. Because okay. notice, here are fours. And if I skip count my fours, I get four times, uh, I, get, I get four, I get eight, I get 12, I get 16. I get 20, 24, 28, 32, and 36. All right, which is four times one, four times two, four times three, four times four, and you get the idea. So without your kindergartner, first grader, second grader even realizing it, you'll be helping them learn their multiplication facts, which is one of the most important things they can know once they hit third and fourth grade. So when it comes time to learn the multiplication facts, they're already going to know that the ninth number of the fours will be 36. Okay. All right. And that's kind of the lesson I just kind of wanted to share with you. I encourage everyone, give your kindergartner, first grader, second grader, a multiplication chart. You don't have to tell them it is a multiplication chart. And you can get them a head start on learning their multiplication facts, which will definitely get them a head start on fractions and algebra in the future. And I can't resist. Here's one more pattern that I wanted to make sure you realized. Notice, we have our skip counting of our sixes right here. However, did everyone notice that you could also skip count from top to bottom? And you can get your kids kind of used to the fact of going from right to left as well as going from top to bottom. All right, and that's all I got for you. So take this uh, piece of advice and let me know if it works out for you. Have a great day, everybody. And thanks for uh, coming to Super Genius Teaching, where we enjoy 
making math look easy. If you like our channel, please feel free to subscribe. We'd love to have you.